Hey, I'm Chris from Hudson. I'm Brian. Guitars and bass. Um, we're going to be cooking a fried mozzarella for an appetizer and tomato basil over spaghetti. Yeah, so I've got the water boiling over here. We've put in some uh, salt in there just to get that going. Yeah, so he's going to start getting the fried mozzarella going. He's going to slice up these. We got fresh mozzarella here. These fresh mozzarella balls, and we're going to slice them up into pieces and get ready to batter them and fry them up. So you can take those over there, Brian. Cut this Slice, slice up the onions. One large onion, one large yellow onion. Olive oil, and we're just going to coat the bottom of the pan with or the pot with olive oil. I just put a little extra because we're going to end up straining out these onions afterwards, and you'll lose some of the oil. Throw the onions in here and heat the oil up. So we're going to let these onions cook down to a nice uh, translucent color, but without burning them. Don't want to get that burned flavor in. We're always cooking up on here, trying to stay healthy. We cook organic foods. We're all about our whole band's you know, message for the world is to be kind to the environment, eat organically, you know, try to leave less of a carbon imprint. You know, we're all about heart, passion soul all that so we put that into our cooking as well um we made you know we can make anything up on here so the other day we made uh sausage and meatballs and all that we were making breakfast burritos this morning fajitas we got fajitas, fajitas. we've got chicken pesto uh, what else yeah we made chicken anything that's quick you know chicken wraps we've with got uh, pesto and mozzarella and all that in there it's easy to cook up a bunch of chicken and then throw it in some soup and mix it together. And you got meals for whenever you need it on the fly. You just heat it up in a pot. So I'm just letting those sweat down. And while I do that, I'm going to open a can of crushed tomatoes, organic crushed tomatoes, and a can of organic tomato sauce. This is a 32 ounce or 28 ounce can and a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Always wash the tops off. You don't want, you know, some mice feces on the top of your cans or any of that. Who knows what goes on in warehouses, you know? I'll rinse some of this base off, which is going to go in the sauce. So I put like eight or ten leaves in usually. And just either put them in whole or you chop is them up a little bit. And I don't have great knives here, so it kind of tears it, but it's good enough. So this egg's going to... That's an interesting egg. That's a strange egg. We're not going to use that. Get another <laughs> one. Let me uh, go grab a new bowl. <laughs> I've never seen that never seen in my life. That's pretty interesting. Come check this egg out. It's bloody. Yeah, yeah, like that's super that's blood. That's an understatement. That's actually, that's actually like uh, good luck. To I'm sure, but I ain't eating that. That's all you, bro. Down that raw. Oh, I'm not going to eat it, but it's supposed to be good luck. It's just uh, <laughs> extra nutrients. Let's try, let's try some extra go. iron. Some extra let's iron. See. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully yeah, we're not two for two ball. here. The onions are starting to sweat down. Probably got a few more minutes. They're still crunchy, you want to get them nice and soft and translucent. And then we'll put some crushed black pepper in this egg. Maybe a little garlic powder, I'll get that out. We got our spice rack down here. We got 
We don't need too much of that. Yeah, Although our lead cool. singer would disagree. He dumps it all he over He dumps everything. garlic powder over everything. It's a little hint but, of that. Uh, all you need is a little bit because it goes a long time. Now we're going to bread our mozzarella. Fry it up. Get these in. Let me make sure here. And then dip them in Italian breadcrumbs afterwards and get them nice and coated. Make sure there aren't any spots you didn't get. I'll just put them aside here. I let the egg drip off a bit so it's not too heavily. Coated. The way it doesn't chunk up on the top of the mozzarella. Just remember, you gotta cook with heart and soul, you know? You gotta put your love in it, put your all into this, man. I hope you guys enjoy this meal. Few yeah, we're almost ready with this. We can start frying these up. So put some, put some oil in that pan right there, so we can get ready to fry these. And you can start heating that up. So we're heating up some olive oil right now for the fried mozzarella and you're going to want to wait to, for it to get hot enough so that it uh, doesn't soak into the breading when you fry it, but you don't want to burn the olive oil either. If you get it too hot, it'll start to burn, so you want to get it probably at about 300 degrees or so before you fry it. Yeah, so these onions are pretty much done here. Here, can you grab a, um, a paper towel? And we're going to strain out these onions there just to flavor the olive oil. So the onions flavor and we get them out of here. Mm. We're going to strain them out, try to get as much of that oil as we can. Get it behind in the pan. This is the base of the marinara and we, we're going to put in, uh, we're just going to add the crushed tomatoes, the tomato sauce some basil, pepper, salt. That's about it. You can keep it simple with this kind of thing. You just let all the flavors come through. You're going to want to let the oil cool down for a second so it doesn't splash up in your face when you're dumping this in. When you're dumping this, I just, I'm just real careful when I dump the tip of this sauce and make sure it doesn't splatter up. this chopped basil, stir that in, and usually the sauce is about ready when the basil starts to turn a darker color, it starts to cook down, and that's usually when I'm like, it's cool, but the longer you cook it, the more flavorful it's going to be. I put a little crushed red pepper in because we like spicy stuff around here. Tons of black pepper, you can't go with too much of that, and this grinder is terrible, so I'll be sitting here a minute. Stir all this sauce up, and you're definitely going to want to add a bunch of salt in there. I'm using coarse sea salt. I think it's a lot better than table salt. Just grind it up in there. Sprinkle it in. And you stir this up, and we're going to let that cook. And honestly, I would cover it probably, but I don't think I have a lid, so it is what it is. And while that water is boiling for the pasta, we're going to make this fried mozzarella. We got hot oil over here. We're going to throw these in. Let them 
cook probably like a minute or two per side. And normally I would have this sauce ready first so that way you can dip the mozzarella in it, but we're probably just gonna have to eat it how it is today, you know? Yep, there we go. Nice golden brown on each side. It's hot, I'm burning my arm. Shit. <laughs> on the RV, you've got to do the dishes while you're cooking because otherwise it just becomes an absolute mess in here. Unfortunately, no dishwasher. I'm going to put some paper towel down to let the oil drain off the mozzarella before we serve it up. Let them cool down because they're going to be really gooey, so you let them cool for a minute and they'll harden up a little bit. Throw the rest of these in. Every now and again, stir up the tomato sauce so it doesn't burn the bottom of the pan, and you're going to want to keep it at like uh, uh, pretty much on low while it's cooking so that you're not burning it. You know, the slower and lower you cook it, it's the better it's going to be, the more the flavors are going to come out and all that. So we're going to go with whole wheat pasta today. Yeah, so uh, this says 10 to 12 minutes. I, we serve it al dente around here, Italians. So uh, we're going to go with 10 minutes and that's, I, usually you go with the lower amount of time on the, whatever the box says and it'll be good. But if we had more time, we'd actually probably make you homemade pasta, but we just don't have the time today. Throw your spaghetti in there. I'm sure most of you have tried cooking some before. Put all up in there. Stir it up. Set a timer for 10. This is the rest of the band. Our tour manager, Alex. I'm David. David. I sing. Christian, I play drums. <laughs> Alex, I babysit. <laughs> Mother. And they all mother. try food. So here you go. Oh, Let's look at this. See. Let's see. Some real Let's Italian guys. Right, we got some food. Some, some meatball One for each guys, of you. Huh? Pretty good. That's mm. right. Pretty good. Yeah. These guys. Delicious. We're eating well. Woo, that was hot. This sauce isn't quite ready, but it'll still be good over these. Let's take this off of the towel real quick. We aren't pretty about it on here. Our plating technique is not very yeah. on point right now, but but it's about this the, is the bootleg. It's kitchen. about the flavor and the taste that matters. A little fresh basil on top. Boom. Boom. Bada bing, bada, bada boom. Oh yeah! Oh. Oh. That's, that's what it's all about, right there. Yeah. So you're gonna want to stir your spaghetti so it doesn't stick together. And also the salt and a little bit of olive oil will help with that as well in the water. All right, pasta's done. We're gonna drain this outside so that we uh, don't fill up our water tank. So we're gonna hop out the door real quick with this. And it didn't stick to the pot. What? Yeah. A little olive oil in your uh, sauce and your pasta. All stick. So now we're gonna plate this for everyone. I normally would cook this sauce a little bit longer, but I think we're going to be good here. 
Frank, can you hand that garlic too? I put a little sauce on the bottom so it gets the noodles on the bottom as well. And then serve this on top. Add some extra sauce on it. And this is a meal that you can do for pretty cheap. Keep it organic and healthy. You feed a bunch of dudes. A bunch of poor musicians on the road, you know? Well, uh, thank you all so much for joining us here. Uh, I guess if you guys want to check us out and hear a little uh, American rock and roll, you can go to HudsonTheBand.com. Uh, we also got an EP out called Cast Out, and I think you'll like it a lot. Uh, you should check that out. It's out there in the interworld. I'm not going to tell you where to find it because I'm pretty sure you already know. But HudsonTheBand.com. Videos on MTV Live. Check that out, too. Yeah, good stuff's out there. See you in your town soon. And come by and eat some spaghetti. Get some fresh pasta. Hey. Fresh pasta. Buongiorno. Hey. Hey. Buongiorno. Very nice. It'll be nice. I don't think that's Italian. No, it wasn't. Because <laughs> I can't do Italian. <laughs>